For this project I'm using an old sign blank. I sanded the whole project down with 320 on my dual action sander and now I'm cleaning the surface with wax and grease remover. Once the sign blank's prepped, now I'm going to go over it with flat black spray paint. I'm going to be using two different templates for this demonstration. This is a stencil by Airsick. I got it off eBay for about $20. And also I'm going to try this shelf mat. I picked this up at Dollar General for about $7 and it's about 10 feet long so you can do a lot larger surfaces with this. I'm going to be using automotive base coat for this project. I'm using silver in my Awad Eclipse airbrush. We just want to try to lay our stencil down flat and keep it from moving with our hand and I'm just going to do a light dusting of silver over the whole area. Now I'm going to unmask the other half of my license plate so we can try out the shelf liner to see which one we like better. I'm going to do a side by side comparison. Just like on the other side, we just keep it from moving with our hand and we're just going to do a light dusting of silver on this side as well. One thing I really like about this shelf liner over the stencil is just how flexible it is. See how it goes over this mirror without any bubbles or anything? I try to hold my stencil over it and I have a heck of a time just holding it in place. So there is a benefit to having the shelf liner over the stencil and it's also even cheaper so in my opinion there isn't much difference in the look. I think I would actually go with the shelf liner. Now I mix some black in my airbrush. And I'm just going to go around all the edges and kind of frame this out. I'm also trying to set the carbon fiber back a little bit. It looked like it might be just a little too intense. I think just a light dusting of black over some of it would give it more of a 3D look. If you'd be so kind and hit that like button, please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for more notifications for when I have new videos coming out. Thank you. I'm going to seal this project off with a high gloss clear coat. Here's the finished project. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and learned something new. We used two different stencil materials for this project. Either one would work. It just is all up to you. You can use this on car hoods, motorcycles, really any project you want to try to give that carbon fiber look to.